A glass and steel behemoth is transforming the iconic Manhattan skyline. It's 270 Park Avenue, J.P. Morgan Chase's new 423 meters mega skyscraper. This $3 billion project isn't just about height, it's a marvel of sustainable design. Imagine massive steel columns, each strong enough to support the weight of 12 jumbo jets forming the foundation. These work in tandem with a network of triangular braces, allowing the giant structure to hover 24 meters above ground level. This isn't just for show, it creates breathtaking open spaces at street level for the public to enjoy. The construction team is on a mission, targeting a 2025 completion date. Inside, it won't just house workers, it'll be a self-contained ecosystem balancing cutting-edge technology with sustainable design. Think this is impressive? There's much more to uncover. Will this architectural wonder usher in a new era of eco-conscious construction in New York City? Look here, right in the heart of Midtown Manhattan sandwiched between 47th and 48th Street on the west side of Park Avenue. That's where the story of 270 Park Avenue begins. Or at least, where one chapter ends and another, even more ambitious one, is being written. Back in the 1950s, this spot housed the Hotel Marjorie, a grand but aging building. But Union Carbide Corporation, a major player in the chemical industry, saw potential. They decided to keep their headquarters in the city, a bold move considering the trend of businesses fleeing to quieter suburbs. With architects Gordon Bunshaft and Natalie de Blois at the helm, a new vision was born. Imagine the Marjorie being carefully dismantled in 1957, making way for this steel and glass behemoth. Now, picture the challenge. Train tracks run directly underneath, and every inch of space is precious in Midtown. Yet, somehow, piece by piece, the new Union Carbide building rose, a symbol of both progress and enduring corporate ambition. By 1960, the sleek tower was complete, its spacious lobby welcoming exhibits on everything from atoms to Japanese art. Union Carbide eventually outgrew their gleaming headquarters, opting for Connecticut's quieter life in the 1970s. Enter manufacturers Hanover Trust, eager to relocate from their own Park Avenue digs. Renovations transformed the space, and soon 270 Park bustled again as manufacturers Hanover's world headquarters. Then, the banking world shifted. In 1991, Chemical Bank acquired manufacturers Hanover and promptly moved in. Mergers continued, and the newly formed J.P. Morgan Chase found themselves as the building's anchor tenant. But there was a problem. The building, designed in a different era, was starting to feel cramped. Rumors swirled, and in 2018 the news broke. 270 Park Avenue was to be demolished, replaced by a super tall, even more impressive successor. Architects and preservationists cried foul, arguing for the preservation of a significant piece of mid-century architecture. Yet, the allure of a larger, more technologically advanced headquarters proved too strong. Demolition commenced in 2019, and by 2021, the once mighty Union Carbide building was reduced to rubble. Today, the echo of jackhammers has faded. Now, if you stand on the same spot, you'll see a towering construction site. The next chapter of 270 Park Avenue is being written in steel, glass, and the relentless ambition that defines New York City. A new skyscraper is taking shape on the iconic Park Avenue, dramatically transforming the midtown Manhattan skyline. This 423-meter tower boasts 60 stories. It's designed to be a marvel aiming to become the largest all-electric skyscraper in New York City. Think of the design as a series of stacked rectangular forms, each rising slightly higher than the last. Imagine sleek glass curtain walls reflecting the surrounding cityscape, accented with sharp metal detailing. Even the interior is designed for a smaller footprint. It will accommodate up to 14,000 employees, a four-fold increase from the previous building's 3,500 worker capacity. 
Building a skyscraper this ambitious doesn't happen overnight. 270 Park Avenue's construction is a complex ballet of engineering marvels, all working together to create a sustainable giant. Here's a glimpse into the remarkable process. The first challenge? Imagine building a skyscraper on top of a subway system. Beneath the planned site lies the intricate web of tunnels and tracks that make up Grand Central Terminal. Engineers needed a foundation solution that wouldn't disrupt this vital transportation hub. The answer, a specially designed raft foundation. Think of it as a massive concrete slab, thick enough to distribute the building's weight evenly across the entire block, resting just above the train lines. But how do you get a 423 meters tower to touch lightly on this base? This is where the innovative fan column and triangular bracing system comes in. Picture the building's base as a series of powerful columns that fan out like the legs of a tripod. These columns are strategically placed to distribute the weight evenly. Imagine these columns then connecting to a network of triangular beams that rise diagonally, crisscrossing each other like a giant web. This innovative exoskeleton provides incredible support, allowing the building to reach its staggering height without putting excessive pressure on the foundation. The most dramatic result of this design is the seemingly weightless base. By raising the tower 24 meters above ground level, the engineers create a truly unique public space. Imagine a vast, open plaza flowing freely beneath the building, creating a light and airy atmosphere. This plaza won't just be a visual treat, it will become a vibrant hub of activity, connecting Park and Madison Avenues and offering a much-needed expansion of pedestrian space in the heart of Midtown. Sustainability is at the core of this project, and the construction process reflects that commitment. The demolition of the old Union Carbide building wasn't just about clearing a site, it was about minimizing waste. An incredible 97% of the old building's materials were either recycled, reused, or repurposed. Imagine steel beams getting a new life in another structure, or concrete being crushed and used as aggregate in a new foundation. The building itself will be a marvel of green technology. Picture a network of sensors and advanced artificial intelligence systems constantly monitoring energy use. These systems will adjust lighting, ventilation, and temperature controls in real time, ensuring maximum efficiency. The building's skin, the glass facade, plays a crucial role too. Imagine triple glazed windows that offer stunning views while minimizing heat gain. These windows will also work in tandem with automated solar shades, which will adjust throughout the day to provide optimal natural light and reduce the need for artificial lighting. Every detail is meticulously designed to create a building that's not just tall, but environmentally responsible. Even the landscaping plays a part. Imagine terraces on multiple floors adorned with lush greenery, creating a natural buffer and contributing to the building's overall energy efficiency. The transformation of 270 Park Avenue is a story marked by both ambition and setbacks. Early 2023 saw rapid progress, with construction reaching the first two setbacks and surpassing the height of the former Union Carbide building within just five months. However, tragedy struck on March 24, 2023, when a construction worker fell from the 12th floor, resulting in a temporary work stoppage. Despite this, the builders persevered, reaching the fourth tier of the planned five sections by late September 2023. A major milestone was celebrated on November 20th, 2023, with the topping out ceremony for the fourth tier. This signified a significant achievement, with just the crown of the structure remaining to be completed. Between December 2023 and February 2024, the architectural topping out occurred, marking the completion of the main structure. With this accomplished, focus shift towards cladding work, which is currently underway on the base columns and walls. Progress on the Park Avenue side currently outpaces the Madison Avenue facade. While an exact completion date for 270 Park Avenue hasn't been released, estimates still point to 2025. 
This awe-inspiring project is nearing its final form, and it won't be long before this new landmark becomes a defining feature of the New York City skyline. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss an update.